Yo, look what I found. What's up, everybody? It's another installment. Um, as you know, this channel set up to be like, hey, yo, I found this, and it's usually material things. But I made an effort that I wanted to uh, make in the next year is to also show you things that you find that aren't material. And this video is called How to Cure the Common Cold. Well, one of the things I found in the past two years is health. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, health. So, uh, I want to share that with the people who might watch this channel, which I don't think there's a lot of them, but hopefully that'll change. First off, if you hit yourself up with the common cold, or if the common cold hits you up, rather, um, the first thing you got to really understand is that there's a lot of ways to go about curing that. And a lot of people gravitate towards the medical profession. If you're one of those people who thinks that everybody who's doing anything holistic is a, a, a kook and a hoax, then maybe you should turn this off and go on your merry way with your Z-Pack and continue to destroy all the essential bacteria that keeps you alive and destroy your immune system. However, if you're one of those people that does not you know, buy into that, uh, stay tuned. Uh, one thing to say though, I'm not one of those dicks who's like, yar, I'm high and mighty about my shit. I come from humble upbringings, I'm an Italian American from Brooklyn, and I'm 90% asshole. So, I understand. I'm trying to approach holistic medicine and, you know, healing and yoga and all that great stuff from a perspective of someone who came from asshole. Now, if that doesn't make much sense to you, maybe you didn't grow up in Brooklyn. But, so anyway, I just want to share with you some home remedies, and more than the home remedies, this video is not about the home, because it doesn't matter what you do. I want to bring one essential cure that is like the key to curing the common cold. Patience. It takes longer than a Z-Pack. You go buy yourself a Z-Pack, you get to pill four or five, and it's knocked out. Okay, you feel better. Okay, you could go back to work. Okay, you're enslaved by Babylon. Like, my point of saying that is that the quick fix causes way more havoc than you could even realize in, let's say, the first year that you take it. You start realizing your body's breaking down sooner, your immune system is weaker, you're getting sick more often. That is the side effects of the Z-Pack, my friends. So, you're going to try natural remedies, right? So right here I got myself a cup of licorice root extract, hot water, clean purified water in a big Berkey water filter, okay? And uh, ginger, alright, and some honey. You're going to say, this shit don't work. I did it. I did it. The thing about the natural remedies I found is that, yeah, they take a lot longer than a Z-Pack. But they're much better for you and they're more immune building. You get sick less. Now, I've been on the paleo diet for two years now. Okay? This is the first time I've caught a common cold flu in two years. How many of you Z-Pack dudes could say that? Get at me. Comment me. Tell me. Come on. All right, so all I'm saying is, so I got the symptoms. It's been like three days. I'm already fine. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of the chest congestion now. So I'm going to show you. You heat this up. Put a little bit on your chest, right? Now, you're going to walk with me in a minute, and you're going to see what else I got going. So I got this brewing. I'm going to sip it down, you know, and I'm going to break up my chest congestion. But I'm going to show you some of the other efforts that you could take to make this go away. But the key, no matter what I show you, the key is understand your body needs time to heal. And whatever time you're, everybody's different. Whatever time your body's going to take, that's how long it's going to take. Unfortunately, we're working in a weird society that's like, you need to work, 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 till you die, die, die. So, you got to work around that, unfortunately, if you're not wealthy. So the way to do that is just try to keep your mind straight, try to meditate, try to keep all those fucked up voices out. And if you're Italian-American from Brooklyn, there's a lot of fucked up voices. I'm sorry. This is not a therapy session, but I'm just saying. So anyway, keep your faith, keep your strength, and just realize it takes time. You know, if it takes two weeks, 
every day is going to get better. And these things that you're going to be doing for yourself are not causing havoc on your system. So let me show you. You got. I already showed you the tea. Let me show you what other essential things uh, you should have in your world if you're going to be doing this. So right here, welcome to my kitchen. Right here, you have yourself some ginger root, okay? You have yourself some organic apples and make sure it's got that little nine. Alright, you got yourself some pineapple. You got yourself onion. Now, I made an elixir of onion juice and honey and lemon, alright? So, you did that. Now, you got yourself some oregano. You're not going to be putting this in your juice. You could put this in an infusion. You could boil a pot of hot water. You know, of course, natural cleaned up water from your water filter of choice. I use a big Berkey. And you, you, you know, like... Uh, infuse your sinuses with this shit and then put your pineapple apple ginger in your juicer and drink that down because if you didn't know uh, pineapple really breaks up mucus very well so I'm suffering from chest congestion and a little dry nasal congestion so the other thing that you could do this is the last tip I'm gonna give you health wise and dub wise you can make yourself a neti pot, all right? My girlfriend was nice enough to lend me her little bottle that I'm instructed to clean out after I do this. But basically, this all that's in here is water, purified water, uh, sea salt, and oregano, okay? And you suck it up your nose, you know what I mean? And... Tilt your head back and you just fucking have a little mucus party with yourself. You know what I mean? So, that's it. That's it, folks. That's the health I discovered. Keep on going what you're going with. Block out those voices. You know what I mean? Don't get discouraged if it takes you, like, a week to get rid of something. It might not even take that long. It took me... I'm on my fourth day. And I would have been better if I didn't work a crazy schedule. I work a crazy schedule. So, you know what I mean? Get your rest. Block out those voices. If you're a Z-Pack dude and you're watching this and you're thinking maybe I should try that. Or if you're like, yo, Z-Pack works. You're a clown. You're a cornball. Whatever. You know? All right. It's your world. But this is what you can do that isn't Big Pharma, that isn't Babylon. All right? Flex Unger on the Yo Look What I Found channel, trying to help you all out. All right, peace. Stay well.